Isn't it annoying and frustrating when you're seeking that specific stock shot, that picture you need for a project, and you go through all the different stock shot libraries and it's never quite right? You find things that are sort of close and sort of would do, but they're not. And then the client gets on your back and you waste even more time trying to find things. You can, of course, take an existing photograph and adapt it using artificial intelligence these days. Photoshop's very good, but you need to have a lot of experience, very steep learning curve, and it's an expensive subscription as well. Midjourney is all right, I suppose, but again, it's a subscription. But look, I found something that's very effective, very easy to use, and it's extremely inexpensive. It's really magic. Click the link below to find out more. Still with me? I'll show you how good this is. Look, say I want a picture of a supermarket. And not just any supermarket. I've found loads of pictures of supermarkets here. But I want an astronaut pushing a trolley, right, through, through a supermarket. It's for my client who is, uh, wants to say we're the supermarket of the future, right? That's what they want. The client's always right. So we simply find my existing picture. We upload it here. And uh, Phaedra will then ask us to put a prompt in. I put a prompt in. And this is what comes up. That's good. We want him on a trolley, though. Put another prompt in. There he goes, pushing the trolley. Fantastic. It's copyright free. You can use it wherever you like. And it's done in seconds. Like that, what else can we do? Um, let's say we've got a really stressed boss picture. I found lots of stressed boss pictures here. But the picture's sort of missing something in the background now. I think we want some, some people pointing, uh, accusatory. Let's uh, type in a little prompt here. Oh, that's much better. And there are plenty of resources that you can adapt and customize. Look at these wonderful book covers. You can do all sorts of great things here. Book covers, you've got greeting cards. You can just take any of these and use them as a template, or you can input your own starting point. Logos, company logos, all sorts of logos for lots of different uses. And even uh, products, product mock-ups. So if you've got a product there, you can put it in a different background. All sorts of things this can do. Look, this fader really is a game changer. Just check it out at the link around this video now. I assure you, you will not be disappointed.